Hi guys, this is Hyunmin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. I know it's been like a um, couple of days since I last uploaded, right? That's ac actually because uh, I've actually been trading a lot. Yeah, and I did mention that I'll be doing more trading videos in the future. So I've done some prep work, you know, studying the prices of cards and things like that. So apologies, you know, if you guys actually didn't see me for quite a while on YouTube because I was busy um, doing some trading. Yeah. So no, anyway, I'm back. Let's get to the video. Yeah. So for today, we'll actually be uh, talking about a few things, right? We'll actually, be talking about the new footballers promo, brand new promo that we have in FIFA. We're gonna be talking about some of the content that is actually leaked, and then we're gonna talk about. Um, of course, we're gonna be talking about the market. And lastly, I'll actually talk to you guys about what to invest in, right? So. Without further ado, let's go to this uh, footballers promo. So what is this promo? So we have actually never ever had this promo before, right? So uh, this is a brand new promo. We, according to Foot Sheriff, he says that we don't have any players in packs, right? There'll only be objectives and SBCs. So the best way that I can describe this is, right, it's actually similar to the showdown promo we had. The only difference being that um, the cards can't upgrade, right? And Coach Harry did say that it's actually rumors, right? That one of the stats will go up to 99. So this is actually similar to the numbers up promo we had in FIFA 22. So for example, right, if they do release a card, right, that card might have, um, let's say 99 strength, right? Then maybe two months down the road, they're actually gonna change the stat. Maybe instead of 99 strength, they're gonna get 99 passing, for example, right? So this is... Uh, you know, it's all up to EA as to how and when they want to change the 99 stat, right? So if you guys remember, right, Numbers Up promo was actually one of the worst promo in FIFA 22. In my opinion, it's the worst promo, right? So another thing to consider is, will there really be no players in packs, right? According to Foot Sheriff, you know, we shall see because EA actually did, re did the re-release cards into packs a few weeks ago. It's quite rare that they do uh, re-release cards like within a span of like a few weeks, right? You know, but you know, right? If there are no cards in packs, you know, no, no back for EA. So I still think that there's a chance that we might see cards in packs, you know, but we shall see when it comes closer. We might see something like a best off, right? I'm not very sure. So Mr. Mount is actually one of the leaked players. So um, we actually don't see any 99 on the stat because these stats are all just prediction. We probably will find out um, on the day itself. We also have uh, Oxalic Chamberlain, right? Again, no 99 stats because it's just a prediction. So I think right, for me, it all depends on how much EA actually juices up all these cards. Uh, will these cards be in line with the power curve? No, I highly doubt it because actually right, the power curve at this stage of the game is actually relatively high, you know, but we shall see. Maybe EA can surprise us. I'm actually most excited for this Denjuma. I used his uh, moments version earlier in the game when he was still at Villarreal and he was, you know, he was balling out for me. So um, this version, right, also has uh, good links, you know, so hopefully he's uh, good in game as well. So I actually want to talk a bit about the season rewards that we actually have. So I think that these uh, retro stadiums, right, you know, these stadium, retro stadium teams, you know, and all, right, I especially like the PSG one, they actually look pretty cool, I think. The stadium teams as well as the TFOs, I think, props to EA for giving us, you know, all these different stuff, I think it looks pretty nice. So, for the level 15 player, right, I've actually looked through, right, so Bakali medium low work rates, which is something that I don't like, 81 reactions, 82 composure, I don't think he's very good. And then we have uh, the left back, Leiboy, right? High, medium, left, 3 star, 3 star, 94 acceleration with 87 sprint speed. Very good agility and balance, decent defending stats. And then lastly, we have uh, Thiago Ilori, right? Low, high, and then 81 acceleration with 86 sprint speed and pretty decent defending stats. You know, I would say, right, um, don't take the left winger, Baokai, just take Lebo or Thiago Ilori. Right, we might need them further down the line when we actually, you know, do objectives and stuff like that. So I like, again, I like the T4s, right? I think they all look pretty good. 
So let's go to the level 30 players, right? I actually find this quite interesting. So we have three, right? So let's let's take a look. We have Nacho Fernandez, low high, two star, four star, right? That 76 acceleration basically tells you that I would think that he's not that usable in game, right? Um fantastic defending stats though, right? Um not very good dribbling as well. So probably not that good. And then we have McTominay, right? Three star, four star, medium high, which is great for CDM. 80 acceleration with 82 sprint speed, you know. Again, it's he looks decent, but I would think that at this stage of the game, unless you're just starting out, he would actually not make your team, right? Unless you are, you know, just want to build a past and present United team, right? Then he's your guy. If not, I don't think he's a good option. For me, right, Lasagna is the best option, right? Four star, four star, high, low. Right, 91 acceleration with 95 spin speed. The finishing might be a bit low, but the shot power is 99. So his finishing is definitely not 80 in game. Right, doesn't feel 80. Right, fantastic agility. You know, reactions and composure are really good as well, which are two vital stats. You know, he doesn't have any special traits. I would say if you guys, you know, your squad is not looking that strong, right? You guys don't have much coins, right? I would say take lasagna. He's pretty good. I actually want to next talk about the um, uh, objective, right? That is actually going to expire soon, right? On foil. So remember to do this, guys. Uh, it's actually expiring tomorrow. I have to get it done on my account as well. If you guys want to know why you must complete him, you know, do check out my review on him. I'll leave the link down here, right? So let's actually move on. I want to take a look at the uh, team of the weeks. So right, I would say that the current team of the week right now, I think it looks pretty good. Of course, the headliner is uh, Adam Militao. Medium, medium, 2 star, 3 star, 85 acceleration with 90 sprint speed. Right, um, fantastic defending stats, right, 88 to 89, all the important stats. 90 reactions, which is what, what you want in the defender. 89 stamina, 88 jumping, and 87 aggression. So this is the card that you guys want to use. Um, this is the rate that you want to get in the weekend league. We also have Jonathan David, right? Three star, five star. I remember we had an inform a couple of weeks back. Again, this card looks um, absolutely cracked, right? If you discount the three star skill moves, you'll probably be a very good super sub for you for your team as well. And then we have uh, Openda, right? Again, if you disregard the three star, three star, you look at his overall stats. You know, ninety three agility, ninety three balance, ninety nine acceleration, ninety nine sprint speed. He actually looks really cracked, right? Even though I'm not a fan of the 83 composure, right? He even has 99 jumping. And he has uh, all the OP traits, right? Finesse and um, outside the foot shot. We also have Guerrero, right? Uh, four star, two star. I would think that he's better suited as a fullback because he has 91 acceleration, right? I don't think he will be that ideal in central midfield because of his high low work rates. Right? He looks pretty good as well, right? We also have a uh, rare build. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna go through all. I think Kovacic looks decent as well, right? 89 agility, 87 balance, 81 acceleration. Also, if you're a Chelsea fan, you can try him out. Right, we have Kyle Walker Peters, who's actually really fast as well. 88 acceleration with 87 sprint speed. So I think overall, right, this, this is actually a pretty decent um, team of the week, right? We have Trosa on the bench as well, right? Fantastic, again, fantastic stats. And then we have uh, Iago Aspas. So I actually next want to talk about the SBCs. So we actually have the um, Rashika SBC, right? Uh, you, you guys have been asking me if I can review Rashika, no? But I don't think I have to actually. He costs about 28k to do, right? He's currently 86 rated. He'll get a minimum plus 2. So he will go up to an 88 rated. So the cheapest 88 rated right now is actually 32k. So when you do, if you do him for 28k, you're actually doing him for cheaper. So I actually also had a viewer who told me that Galatasaray is actually currently unbeaten in 14 games. So, you know, if he gets upgraded to an 89, even better. So just try him out. If you don't like him, you know, he's, he's premium fodder, cheap fodder. We actually also have the um, Angel Gomez SBC as well. Right, he uh, actually got released as well. So he's actually 4 star, 4 star, medium, medium, which I don't really like. Um, He can start in a striker and a left wing position as well you know great acceleration and sprint speed and top tier agility and balance i would say right um you know overall stats looks pretty good 
No, 91 ball control, 90 dribbling, 83 attack positioning, 85 finishing. He has the finesse and the outside, outside the foot shot as well. I've also heard good things about him, you know, he's only 63k. You can try him out if you need a left wing, no, but again, at this stage of the game, if you have actually been playing, right, he probably doesn't make your first 11. We also had the newly released Hulam Brand, right, he was just released a few hours ago. Let's check out his stats. 4 star, 4 star, high medium work rates, right, he can start as a right mid, cam and center forward. So 81 acceleration with 82 sprint speed, you know, top tier agility and balance, very good ball control and dribbling. Right, attack positioning, finishing and shot power, it, 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 all, it all looks really good. Right, he has the outside the foot shot as well. So um, the requirements are actually an 82 and an 83 rated squad with one inform, which comes up to about 50k. If you can actually craft him with the 78 by 3 right, his price will probably be closer to 40k, which is cheaper than your cheapest 89, which is actually, which is actually 43k right now. I know that um, there, there aren't any special cards in packs right now, but the 78 by 3 upgrade right has been really giving out good fodder for me. I've been getting 86s, you know, 87s, you know. Most of the time I just get um minimally I get an 83. You know, considering how expensive fodder is right now, I think it'll be more worth it for you to do this 78 by 3, you know, than buy fodder off the market. I'm actually gonna be doing um quite a bit of the 78 by 3 on my account because I have to complete submit sir as well as the um, 83 by 10 as well, yeah? So let's actually move back to here. I want to talk about the packs. So we actually will be seeing some of all, some of these leaked packs, right? Uh, let's start with the 10 coins pack, you know, fantastic. This is a fantastic gesture from EA, right? Nothing to lose here, nothing to talk about. Just buy the, buy the coin packs, right? Probably the only time that I buy store packs with coins or buy store packs at all so we have the new year review pack as well right so you need to watch out right so this contains five rare gold players right with one guaranteed from winter wildcard team of the year mentions future stars or centurions plus your swap tokens which would also tells me that the foot birthday swap program right will probably come out earlier probably it will come out this week probably will give us some time to grind you know for the foot birthday promo Right, and then we have the new year review pack as well. Contains two guaranteed players from the wildcard, Centurions, Mansions, and Future Stars, as well as a uh, loan, loan player pick, right? Between three players and uh, one base hero loan player, right? For seven games. So, another one, another thing that we have is the premium new year review pack. Contains 30 go rare players rated 81 or higher, with two guaranteed to be from the same. From the same few promo cards right promo batches and you have a loan as well so all this simply tells me that right if you guys want to trade don't trade with winter wild cards centurions mansions and um future stars because these cards will be in danger once these packs are released you know their prices will go down right that's all we need to know and then again we have the super loan players pack right and then um now we have something different we have this super loans team pack so they give you 11 players with 99 game loan and then this is the more interesting one the foot birthday team one player pack you know guarantees one untradeable foot birthday player i have actually not seen a pack in store whereby they just give you one guaranteed player but you know we, we see it here right now and then we have the elite new year review pack as well contains 25 rare gold players with five guaranteed to be from the same few promos as well and alone right so um Next, I actually want to talk about the player of the month, Mbappe, right? He's actually confirmed to have one player of the month. He'll be coming to uh, the game next Tuesday, 21st March, right? So question is, according to Foot Dong, right? Question is, how much will he be? So let's see how much his 92 player of the month was. So when he actually came out, he was about 2.1 mil. And he actually came out during team of the year. It's something to take note because that was when everybody was actually saving their packs and then you know lots of people are grinding upgrade packs to try to pack a team of the year right so ea deliberately made it much more expensive because they know people have fodder and when you have fodder you'll go and complete um sbcs right so let's actually check out the price of the 92 inform so what happened was 
right? Because the SBC was so expensive, the 92 player of the month, his um, card, right, actually rose. I think he, it was about this period of time, right, from 1.4, 1.5 mil, he went up all the way to his um, current price, right? He actually sought from uh, 1.5 mil. Now he's actually... His price sought close to 2M right over the few next few weeks and he's currently at actually 2.1 mil or close to 2.2 mil. So now the question is how much will his 93 player of the month be? Let's take a look at his World Cup version which is also 93 rated. Right. So what happened was when his price was when it was confirmed that he would be winning player of the month right he dropped from 4.8k 4.8 mil all the way down to his current price of 4.4 mil. So, um, I'll be surprised, right, if his 93 player of the month is not minimally 3.5 mil. That's a very, very conservative estimate. But if I had to guess, I would say that the SBC will probably cost closer to 4 mil. So, is it worth it to do if you have the 92 player of the month? I would say not. Like I always say, you won't be able to feel the plus ones in game, which is what Mbappe will be getting. So I actually want to talk about Fodder. So we actually had the 89 plus World Cup Icon Pack release a few days ago, right? And you know it costs about 550k to do, which I think is a bit too expensive. The pack weight doesn't seem very good as well. So anyway, what this did was uh, it made Fodder explode, right? Let's take a look at Fodder. So your 83s, right? How much did they? How much were they? They went from 2.5 all the way to 3.5 your 84s they went from 5.4 all the way to 6.8 i was selling 84s at 7k your 85s they went from 12k all the way up to 15k right i was selling 85s at about 15 15.5 15 you know there are there about 86s right 86 laporte laporte right he went from 14k all the way up to 18k or 18.5 now he's actually 19 even higher right so fodder absolutely exploded so let's actually take a look at my transfer list right i've like i mentioned i did invest right so these are the ones that i just sold actually um i actually have even more but i really cleared it out out of my transfer list right so yeah so these are all the fodder that i sold Right, um, but I actually did record the clip of me, you know, selling the fodder beforehand. This is the second wave of fodder that I sold. So yeah, check the clip out, guys. So some of our fodder has uh, already sold. First, let's take a look at the prices. So um, we actually bought eighty nine Sony right at um about thirty eight k. So we sold him at forty three point five. So that's about three point three k profit. Right, for the 86ers, right, we actually sold them, as you guys can see, we have a couple at uh, 19k, some even higher, 19750, right. Um, for 86ers, we actually bought them at 16k, so we just sold them at an average of, I would just say, 19k. So that's 2k profit per card. As for the 85s, right, we actually sold them, you know, mostly for like 16k, I would say, between 15,250 to 16k. So that's actually about um average about 2.2 2.3k profit per card. So for the 84s, right, we actually bought them at uh about 4k, about 4k. Yeah, so we are selling them between 6.7 or 6.2 to 7k, which is actually a very very high price for 84s. So let's just take the average at 6.5. So that's about 2k a cut as well which is actually a very high rate of return all right um i actually still have a bit of fodder left you know let, let me find the fodder i think they're all behind but you know i'm actually in no hurry no great hurry to sell considering that um as of right now we don't think that there will be any cuts in packs so for the footballers promo so you know fodder is probably gonna rise i'm just gonna lazy list them right i have a capable I have a couple of uh, Kaelan Avas and um, Donnarumma, right? Like, like you can see, I bought them for 30k. They're actually 32k right now. I'm in no hurry to sell. I'm just going to lazy list them. So, 
the question now is what can we invest in right i actually like the look of uh, oscar de marcos you know, if you guys want to you guys can pick up a couple of him he's actually about 48k right now right uh i've actually bought a few of him uh the key thing here guys is to sell him before the game because he actually has a very early game right it's saturday morning for me so his game is actually friday for you guys right depends on where you guys are from i also like the looks of vima as well 25k wolfsburg looks good as well wolfsburg actually play i think uh in on the weekend right so those two are actually players that i actually like So right, I've actually been um, doing more trend trading recently, you know, if you guys see my transfer list, I have a couple of uh, Jordi Albas, a couple of uh, Lucas Vasquez, you know, like I have a couple of uh, Nuno Mendes. So um, I've also actually, right, if you guys saw at the beginning of the transfer list, right, all these Lamelas, right, I actually bought them for 37k quite a few weeks back and I've actually held Oh, it's good good coins because I know they're definitely gonna rise. I'm happy with 47k, so I, I took the coins. But like I mentioned previously, I'm gonna be doing more trading on the channel. If you guys wanna learn how to trade, you know, come join the Discord where I'll give trading tips on what to buy. Currently it's still free. Right? Uh our people in Discord are actually all making coins right now. So lastly, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for the support. Uh you know, if you enjoyed the video, you know, hit that like button, hit that sub button. You guys want to see more trading videos because i'm actually going to be doing more of them you know this week and of course if you want to see me trade live if you guys have any trading questions you know come join me on twitch where i'll be live every day you know uh i'll be live half an hour before the footballers promo tomorrow right so that's uh 5 30 p.m gmt or 1 30 a.m singapore time you know you guys can join me there see me trade live ask me any questions I'll leave the link down below and you know, I'm out, right? Take care guys.